I'm Rob Magrino, certified aquatic fitness professional and inventor of Aquablast, the portable pool fitness bag. Today's routine incorporates 22 exercises you can do in almost any swimming pool for a total body workout and no wet hair. We'll start with a few warm-up exercises, then move into progressively harder drills as the routine goes on. The list of exercises and routine can be found at aquablastfit.com. I use a totally free interval timer called Love Hit. That's Love H I I T. The app is free and simple to use. This routine took me about 10 minutes to create. Feel free to use the routine, modify it, and share it with your friends. I'll demonstrate 5 to 10 repetitions of each exercise with a few variations thrown in. I'm starting with easier underwater drills, then I'll introduce lifting drills that get tougher near the end. Go at your own pace, and I'm working out in 3.5 to 4 feet of water. The first few exercises are great warm-up drills to get the body ready for the workout. By the way, I'm wearing a pair of gloves from OutdoorResearch.com called Active Ice. These lightweight gloves provide excellent hand protection, especially when holding the Aquablast handles. The dexterity and durability are unmatched in and out of the water, and I highly recommend them. Okay, let's get started. The first exercise is the blaster roll. I want to kind of squat down a little bit, ideally to shoulder level, and roll the bag across your chest, trying to keep your arms underwater, and then sweep the bag across your body from one arm to the other arm, stretching your chest and your arms. It's a great warm-up drill. Start out slow and find the bag's balance point. You are moving 50 pounds of water, so get used to how it feels. Next up is the knee lifts. This is another good warm up. Hold an upper and lower handle, place the bag horizontally on your knee, and lift it alternating between knees. You can lift the bag partially or fully above the water level. For deeper water, the vertical knee lift works well if you want to lift the entire 50 pounds out of the water. In addition, you can do pulsing exercises where you lift the bag one, two, three, and alternate between legs. Next one is called the hike, chase, and push. Here you hike the bag between your legs, run backwards, chase the bag down, and push it back to where you started from. So you're going to hike it, kind of run backwards, grab the bag, and push it forward. You can push it with one arm or two arms. And this drill warms you up fast and incorporates forward and backward movement. We're going to do five of these things. Okay, the last one. Next up is the kettlebell. Hold the two upper handles and swing the bag down slowly between your legs and swing it up toward the surface. The bag has a lot of weight and drag, so you want to start slow and try to get it into a rhythmic motion. Push, pull, and twist. Hold an upper and a lower handle and push the bag away and pull it back in. And twist, push, pull, twist. Push, pull, twist. Start slow for warm-ups and then increase intensity as you go. I like to switch sides. Really move that water.
moguls. These work best in about four feet of water. You want to place your hands on the sides of the bag and then hop side to side, shifting the 50 pound bag. Try to keep your feet and knees together like you're downhill skiing on the slopes. Blaster 360. Here you rotate the bag around you, release it, and pick it up from the other side. The 360 motion creates a little whirlpool, and if you spin the bag, it hugs your body a little bit as it rotates around. When changing directions, you have to fight the current a little bit. Get that current running again. This exercise works the upper body and core. Okay, the shoulder curl. Hold an upper and a lower handle, crouch down, and lift the bag up to the surface. Let the bag do the work. The bag's buoyancy helps it rise to the surface, so you don't actually have to lift it. You can do a short isometric hold near the top, and this one works the shoulders and deltoids. The wave machine. Hold an upper and a lower handle, and swing the bag back and forth, side to side, to create a nice wave. Rotate the bag or switch hand positions. This one's a great one for the core and upper body. Okay, the cable pull. Hold the two upper handles and swing the bag back side to side. This is a power move and creates a lot of lateral torque. It's like pulling one of those cable machines at the gym, but you're getting resistance and drag at the same time. Kettlebell side. Hold the upper handles and then swing the bag side to side and try to keep your heels planted on the upward stroke. You can also alternate sides. Blaster bowling. Hold an upper handle and lunge forward with one foot swing the bag slowly up to the surface and pull it back and reposition. So you take a couple of steps backward then lunge forward and slowly push the bag up. Try aiming for a point on the wall like you're throwing a strike at the bowling alley. Switch arms. Just remember to take it slow because there's a lot of weight and resistance that you're moving. Next up, the kettlebell rear. Place the bag behind your back. It's a little awkward to get it into this position. You're going to hold the upper and lower handles and lean forward, keeping your heels planted on the pool floor. Lift the bag partially out of the water. Allow the bag's buoyancy to help it spring up to the surface. Blaster crunches. Cradle the bag in two arms, stand up straight, and lean forward and lean back. It's like doing a crunch while standing up. Now you're lifting 50 pounds up and down. Try this in deeper water if the weight is too much for you.
bicep curls. Hold an upper handle and push the bag down and lift it up, keeping your elbows near your side. You're going to lift the bag up to the surface and you can lift it all the way out or partially out of the water. The bag's buoyancy helps propel it upward. Cradle and squat. I'm going to cradle the bag with two arms and stand straight. Then squat down and stand up again, keeping those heels planted on the floor on the way up. Blaster curls. Hold an upper and a lower handle and lower the bag to your knees and lift the bag up to your chest. You can switch hand positions by lift by using the outer handles. The lift will be a little more, a little less difficult depending on which handle you hold. Generally, I choose the farther, the handle that's farther away from you. The row. Grip the upper handles, squat down a little bit and then lift up the bag. The bag's buoyancy helps it propel it out of the water and then gravity kicks in and it's got to go back down again. Pendulum side lift. Hold an upper and a lower handle and rock the bag side to side like a pendulum. Lifting the bag up and out of the water. The bag's momentum helps it rise above the water and then gravity takes it back down again. The potato sack. Place the bag on your shoulder, stabilizing the bag with both arms. Stand up and squat down lift the 50 pound bag up. Switch shoulders. You can also leap upward, but use your heels when jumping rather than your toes. The overhead lift. This is a tough one but the bag is already at chest level. And you can use different grips. The grip uh, at, at the farther end of the handles is a little easier to use. When lifting, center the bag over your chest, right at your chin level. Use your legs and your arms to thrust it up toward the ceiling. Okay, the final one is the baby lift. Press the center of the bag with both hands and lift it up like you're lifting a baby. It's a big baby. Lift that bag up. All right, so you're almost having fun with a couple of punches and kicks. I like doing spin kicks. These are a lot of fun, but take some practice to get your coordination down. Let's also throw a few punches for good measure. You can punch it and chase it around. I usually stabilize the bag after I punch it to prevent it from drifting. So I punch it a few times, I stabilize it, and then I start another round. Blast away. <laughs>